we have this conversation about whether slavery should be taught in schools and so on. And my answer to that is yes. The problem is we don't teach about slavery in schools. What we teach about is the transatlantic slave trade. And um, this way of looking at the world is, is quite silly to me. It, it's sort of like evaluating whether a sprinter is fast or slow without comparing them to anybody else. You can't do it. Uh, you have to understand what was happening everywhere else at the same time. And I talk about my own family history of being slaves in Russia. I talk about what was happening in my country, what was happening in Africa when the evil Western colonialists arrived. And by the way, the transatlantic slave trade was absolutely evil by the standards of the modern day. But it wasn't as bad as the, uh, the trans-Saharan slave trade, which was conducted mainly by Muslim and Arab traders. Um, didn't last as long, didn't take as many lives, didn't have such a high death rate. Uh, and slavery was continued, continually practiced around the world much later and only ended, by the way, thanks to the Western colonial powers, putting a lot of effort and a lot of money into it. Does that excuse the transatlantic slave trade? Of course not. But it gives you the context to understand that the Western powers are and remain some of the most progressive, tolerant, societies that have ever been created and our crimes which are many there is no doubt they are many should be seen in the context of that in the context of the fact that other great civilizations and empires around the world were doing the exact same things and worse at the same time and we ended it we stopped it the british empire was committed to abolishing slave trade and slavery all over the world from brazil through africa egypt india malaysia and elsewhere for 150 years. That's a big commitment, and it, it costs. The end of slavery remains the greatest moral achievement of the right.